or welcome back. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. If you are returning, you already know it. You are fabulous. All right, so today's DIYs are going to be super cute, very affordable, and very, very simple to do. Okay, so let's just jump right in. What up guys, it's Gracie and I think you just heard from my mom and I hope that you enjoyed the video and I really hope that you hit that like button. Do, I'm gonna come find you. No, I'm just kidding. But um, <laughs> hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time my mom posts a new video. Love you guys. Alrighty, y'all. DIY number one. So I've got two of these reindeer that I got from the Dollar Tree. And now we're going to be sanding those down front and back. Completely sanded down. I've got two pails that also came from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be uh, spray painting all of this with this Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch 2 times Ultra Cover Paint and Primer. This is the best spray paint you can use. And I've got the flat black. Now... I've got two of these signs that came from um, the fall, and I'm just going to pop these words right off. And that first one I broke, but the other ones were super simple to pull right off. All I need is the stick. We're just going to be using the stick. So, I'm going to hot glue these reindeer to this stick. And as you can see there, I have sanded my reindeer down front and back. I'm going to actually put one a little lower than the other as far as the stick goes. So that way they'll kind of be offset from one another. When we have them standing up, they're going to, one's going to be a little shorter than the other. Now I did take some, um, uh, tape there as you can see some duct tape and just kind of reinforced that stick just just a little extra protection that it's going to stay on there but we're going to spray paint uh tape and all so as you can see there i have now spray painted the reindeer and i got them front and back um top to bottom everything has been spray painted i am taking some of this ribbon that i got from the dollar general store and i'm just gonna fold it in half and put it around his neck i felt like with it just regular it looked like a band around his neck or something instead of you know like a cute ribbon so that's why i folded it in half i wanted it to be a little more dainty than i guess that's a good word for it i wanted it to be just a hair more dainty than um what it was so i just folded it in half cut my cut my strips out there and i'm gonna take my hot glue and just hot glue this ribbon right to the deer so I'm going to put it on the back side. I'm making sure that my seam, you know, where I hot glue is going to be on the back side of this reindeer. But as you can see there from the this back side angle, I spray painted it, this thing. I spray painted the paint and all, y'all. I mean, not paint, the um, glue. Well, Lord have mercy. <laughs> I cannot talk. I spray painted the duct tape and all. Just top to bottom, these dudes got a good spray paint. Now, I'm going to take some twine and just make a simple little bow i wanted to put one bow on one deer and the other one just stay like it was you know kind of have one a little more fancied up than the other or you could maybe say like one's a girl and one's a boy i don't know but you know just have one a little different than the other now I'm, i've got some of these um little foam disc that came from the dollar tree and they fit perfect down in this can well about halfway down in the can they kind of stop you know it's a little smaller in the bottom so i actually took some rocks from the dollar tree i didn't even take them out of the bag i just stuck bag and all down in the bottom there and then i'm going to hot glue these uh discs together i've already shoved my stick down in the first two and i'm going to hot glue that to the bottom disc just shove it down in there as best you can and then of course you got the rocks to keep it stable you know and then I also took some, um, these picks, these, uh, winter picks that I got from Walmart for 98 cents a piece. And I just stuck those down one on either side of the stick. It just added a little something to it, you know, made it, made it kind of pop a little bit. Now I'm taking some of this floral moss and I'm just going to add that right around the top of that foam. These turn out so stinking cute, y'all. Oh, my gosh. And definitely check out uh, Megan from Glue Guns and Roses. She does a set of them, and hers are just, they're stunning. They really are. Hers are absolutely stunning. So, I will leave a link in the description box for her video because y'all have got to see that. But, anyways, this is my, my rendition of it, and I love them.
All righty, y'all. DIY number two. So this one is my absolute favorite out of this entire collection. I got this stencil. Um, I, I bought this from the Magnolia Design Company, which is a mother and daughter that have their own little uh, stencil company. And it's kind of like the chalk couture, if you've ever been familiar with that. Um, you do the chalk paste that I have there in my hand. And then she has got some gorgeous stencils, just gorgeous. I spray painted a canvas um, with that same flat black spray paint from earlier, um, a canvas from the Dollar Tree. Now, I just took that. It's sticky. The, the stencil itself is real sticky, so you just peel it off of the paper that it comes on. Save that paper because you're going to put it back on there, but stick it down. Make sure it's right where you want it. Get it good and stuck. And then you take the paste and you just smear this paste onto your stencil. And it it's just the neatest thing because you smear it and then you kind of scrape it. And then you smear and you scrape because you can continue to move that paste around on top of that stencil. It's just that it is so cool and it turns out so good. Oh my goodness. But I'm going to leave a link in the description box for her because she is a sweetheart, first of all. I've gotten to know her through um, Instagram, and she's just a really sweet person. And like I said, her and her daughter have this. But um, I'm going to leave a link in the description box for you because she's got some cutie, cutie stencils. And y'all definitely need to go check that out. Look at how perfect this is. Not a bleed one. I mean, it's literally perfect, y'all. I was in shock. I, I just can't believe how well this works. It makes you not want to use other stencils, like, ever. <laughs> but anyways, I will be purchasing more of her stencils for sure because this one just, it just worked out so well and so easy to clean up. You just rinse that stencil off. You literally take water and rinse the paste off of it, set it out, let it dry. I just kind of laid mine over the top of my dish, my dish rack, let it dry real well, and then you're going to stick it back to that paper and it's reusable. Now, I took one of these winter picks, kind of folded it over the edge of my frame or my my canvas and then hot glued it in place. I'm going to take some of this berry garland, double it up. I kind of measured it off to see how long I wanted the um, hanger to be and we're going to make a hanger out of the berry garland. So, I just took it and tar started to twist it. I kind of twisted it around onto itself. So, it would be a little more um a little more firm, you know. I mean, it would have a little more oomph to it to be a hanger. Flipped it over. I'm just going to hot glue this right into place. Once again, with the trusty duct tape, <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and stick that dude down. I've been trying to make sure that my projects are pretty well, um, you know, tailored and finished and and looking good because I would like to get rid of some of these. I've actually got a little shop, the coffee shop, that I'll leave a link in the description box for. And on that, you can go and purchase some of the DIYs that I actually do on this channel. So y'all check that out for sure. I'll have that in the description box also, but it's called the coffee shop. All right. Now, I wanted to make a messy bow to go on this. I just felt like it didn't need some big fluffy bow. It needed something, but just not nothing that would take away from the the um the verse or you know what I'm saying? Nothing that was going to take away from the the sign itself because it's just such a such a powerful powerful verse. Um so I just started to layer these different uh ribbons on top of each other. I've got the buffalo check that I got from the Dollar Tree and also uh, the um, that lace. That lace is so pretty too, y'all. I love it. But And then I've got some of this, I guess it's like baker's twine. I think that's what you call this. And it's the red and white and it's just the little thin it's it's twine. I mean, that's what it is. But I thought it would be cute with a couple pieces of it kind of scraggly hanging off of there. So I did cut a, a few pieces of it and and put on here to make our messy bow. And it turns out so stinking cute, y'all. I also cut off a piece to where I could tie this messy bow because once you get your, your layers laid down there, then you're just going to take a piece of twine, tie it real tight in the middle, and that's all you do to this bow. And it's a really cute, cute bow. It really is. Oh, I cannot wait for y'all to see this finished. It's so, so pretty. Oh my goodness, so pretty. So I just took some hot glue. I'm going to hot glue this right down to my canvas, right above my little pick. And that's all I did to this. And it is absolutely gorgeous, y'all. 
Oh, I love it. All right, DIY number three. So for this one, I've got some beads that I actually ordered off of Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description box for them. I've got my twine and then I got these at Walmart. Oh my gosh, how stinking cute are those? Uh, we're gonna make making just a little garland. It's so super simple, but it is just such a cute, cute like piece to add to any of your your decorations you know i mean it just it is really a cute piece now i took some uh scott not scotch tape but um masking tape and just wound it around the the end of that twine just so i could kind of make myself like a little needle you know and that way i could um be put these beads on easier so all i did was like two small one big two small one big three small one big three small you know anyways do it however you want do your own um design but i just added my beads and then i took that twine and wrapped it around actually it's a box of uh false nails <laughs> it was all in the same walmart sack together okay so i just grabbed that and wound it around there we're gonna make a tassel cut myself off another piece i'm gonna tuck it in so that i can tie it across the top you'll see here in just a second i'm gonna come up through the top with it See, and now you can just tie that, and that's going to hold your string together. And there may be a very um, good uh, tutorial on YouTube on how to make a tassel. I'm sure there is. So, I'm not the best person at this. I, I definitely know that I am not a great tassel maker. <laughs> so, if you need to get more help, I'm sure you can find something on YouTube to um, help you out there with the tassel. But... What I did was I took the rest of the string that was left on the end of my beads and I tied it to the uh, the twine itself. I just tied it real tight so it would be really close to the end. And then you're going to take a piece and tie it around the top portion of that twine. Just right at the top. Leave yourself just a little bit of a, a little, you know, bubble, I guess you'd say, kind of bump there. Just tie it real tight. And that's going to leave your ends hanging, and we're going to cut those in just a minute. So then you're going to take your scissors and cut that open to where everything's hanging straight. And then go back and trim those down. And I actually trimmed mine two or three times throughout this video, this uh, DIY because it was a little too long at first, and then I didn't like it. And then I, yeah, anyway. So with the um, little truck, I took it, cut the string that was on it it had a little loop on it i cut that loop in half and then actually took those two strings and tied those to the twine at the end of that bead i hope i'm explaining that correctly i hope that y'all are understanding what i'm saying um but here you can see I'm, i just tied it to the end of that bead i don't plan on twirling this thing around the house you know Nobody's going to be picking it up and playing with it, so I think it will be fine just like this, but this was the best way that I could figure out to get that little truck on there. So I just snipped it off, and don't worry, you're not going to see all of this. I snip off the little, the little bitty strings, and then you're going to take that very last bead and shove it over the top of that so that you don't see any of those strings. And then your, your little truck is at the end of your twine. So I think it worked out pretty good, but I'm sure there is a better way to do that. <laughs> so I love this. I hope that y'all do too.
DIY number four. This one totally exceeded my expectations. I, I love, love, love this one here. So I found this um, ornament, says Merry Christmas, and it's good size. At the Dollar General store, I got my material from Miss Donna, the lady that sent me the huge box of supplies. So thank you again, Miss Donna. That, that box of stuff has gone a long ways, let me just tell you. So stuff that I really, really can use. Um, all right, now, I just took those metal pieces right off the top. We're gonna save those and mess with those later. Now, I'm going to take some craft paper and just trace this out and go ahead and cover the back of my um, ornament ball. Um, I, like I said before, I'm trying to make sure that my stuff is finished. You know, it kind of has a finished look to it. So, that's what I've been trying to do. Just go ahead and cover the backs or paint the back or whatever I got to do to make sure that it's, you know, a very polished uh, product. So, anyways... All I did was measured out, like you see there, took some hot glue, went right around it, and just stuck that piece of uh, craft paper down. So, no big deal. Super, super simple to do. Now, I took my ornament balls, laid them down on my material, and I'm just going to trace around it once again, just like I did with the craft paper. Y'all, this is so simple. Oh, my gracious. Like, so simple. Just traced it out. Same thing with the other material. I'm going to do the same thing. And actually, what I ended up doing was cutting this piece off, cutting off a square of the striped material, and I just laid it on top of it and, like, measured out to where the two, um, where I had traced it. I'm going to lay that on top of the red, and I actually cut them out at the same time. So, I'm just cutting it one time. Because, obviously, these balls are going to be pretty much the same, um, you know, size or whatever. Pretty close to the same dimensions and all. So, I just, like I said, doubled it up and cut it all at one time. This material is real stiff and, and kind of thin. So, it's perfect for doing something like this. It is, it's just perfect. I love this material. I wish I could find more of this kind of material, actually, because this stuff is... I, I believe she got this from a place called... It's either called Ross's or Rose's. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but wherever, it's good stuff. So, I, I suggest, highly suggest getting you some of that because it comes in very, very handy when you're doing some crafts. So, anyways, I'm just going to hot glue this down just like I did the craft paper on the back. Just add my hot glue around the edges, lay my material down, smooth it out real good. And I, I did try to smooth it pretty fast because I didn't want that hot glue to clump up or anything or bubble up. So, I did try to smooth it, you know, go ahead and smooth it out pretty quick. This turns out so, so good. Oh, my goodness. Just snipped off any kind of scragglies that I had going on or anything. I think some of it was trying to unravel a little bit. Now, I took that Merry Christmas, and as you can see, I did the same thing with the other one. I just glued my material right to the ball. I'm going to take my Merry Christmas sign, add some hot glue to the back, and we're just going to lay it right down on our little ball. This is so easy, y'all. So easy. And it cost me $3 to make. All right, now, I'm taking my Arteza Paints, which is the Arteza Premium um, Acrylic Paints. Has so many different colors in it. Just beautiful, beautiful colors in it. And I am very impressed with this Arteza paint, y'all. And actually, when you see what I'm fixing to do, hopefully you'll be impressed too because it's just really neat how well these acrylic paints work. I'm not an acrylic paint person. So, for me to actually love these and want to use them is a big deal. <laughs> so, anyways, I'll leave a link in the description box for the Arteza uh, website and then a link for each of the items that I'm going to use today. Y'all check that out. They've got great prices and it is quality, quality stuff. All right, so I took the silver and also the gray and I mixed it together. Just kind of mixed it a little bit together, and I'm going to dab that all over those metal things. Just that way, it kind of dulls it down. Now, I also took the Mars Brown and the Burnt Sienna, added those two. And as you can see, I had one on one side, one on the other side of my sponge brush. So, it's kind of a doubled, uh, doubled paint, I guess you'd say. I don't know how to explain that, but y'all saw what I was doing there. Now, I'm just going around the outside edge of this of this um, metal thing, 
getting it all in all the little creases, all the little cracks, kind of adding a little here and there just to give it some random spots. But oh my gracious, this is this works so, so well. Check it out. It really looks old and rusted, y'all. I'm telling you, the Arteza paints are just fabulous. They are absolutely fabulous. And I actually make a small commission when you guys use those links. So let me say thank you in advance because that really helps this channel. That's, that's awesome. So thank you so much for that. Now, I took some black chalkboard paint, just regular old uh, Dollar General Store chalkboard paint, added it to the end of my sponge brush, and I'm just going to go right around the edge of these balls just to distress them a little bit and also fill in any spots where I might have, you know, kind of cut the uh, material a little short, and that way you're not going to be able to tell. So, like right in there, the material was just a little short, so I just went ahead and painted that black, and you cannot see it at all. But I just went around the outside edge of this, kind of, I kind of got a little darker as I went. I wasn't sure about it at first, and then after I did it, I really liked it. So then I'm going to add my little metal things back to the top of our balls. Y'all, they look so old and rusted. It is crazy how well this, this paint works. All right, just adding the hot glue, pop my little metal thing right back down. We got our balls back together. Now, I am going to add these together, and here's a question. Leave me in the comments and let me know. Should I have left this like I did, or should I have added a bow? So, I glue these together, and then I contemplate. I sit there for probably 20 minutes trying to decide if I'm going to add a bow or am I going to leave it like it is. I felt like it was already so busy with the lines and the checkered that just adding some rope to the top Making myself a little hanger was all it needed, and I love it. Alrighty, we're moving right along. DIY number five. So for this one, I have got a tag and I've also got the um, sign that says jingle all the way. And then I have got some uh, material here. This is actually a tablecloth that I bought that I, it didn't fit my table right. It didn't look right. So I saved it, you know, just for DIYing. Now, once again, I'm going to take some of that craft paper, add it to the back of this just to cover up all that uh, the glitter and everything. Now, I'm taking the Arteza in the scarlet red. This is the reddest, prettiest red. I'm telling you, it is, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous red color. And I'm just going to paint that jingle all the way. Now, I just popped that up. I, I think I had a flathead screwdriver, actually, that I just kind of went underneath it all the way around, just kind of popping it a little here and there. Because if you bend that too much, it will you know, kind of warp or whatever. So you got to be kind of careful, but it does come off fairly easy. So I just popped that right off of the sign that it was on. And I'm going to take this um, Arteza paint and just paint this solid red. This one really turns out cute also. This actually I put on my front door after I got done with it because I loved it so much. <laughs> so like I said, I'm just going to give it, um, I do believe I gave it two coats. I know that I did give it two coats, actually. It might have been three, but I do believe I gave it two. Now, I just took my, my tablecloth there, laid it out, and I'm just going to cut around this. Um, I didn't try to get up real close because I was going to just fold it over anyway, so that way I knew it would have a perfectly clean you know, um, side to it. There wouldn't be any kind of edge or anything. It would be you know, perfectly clean and, and tailored looking, so... I just took it, I'm going to fold it over, just like you see there. I got my hot glue out, just started folding it. And I more or less wrapped it like a present. Just folded the sides in like that. And then the top, I'm just going to fold it over, just like you would wrap a present, literally. That's how I how I did this. So, added it there. Um, now, I should probably add some more craft paper to the back to cover up all of that. But anyways, that's besides the point. Now, I'm going to take that jingle all the way, and we're just going to add it right to the middle of this. Now is when I realized that I have covered up the hole. 
<laughs> of course I did. Uh, there's got to be something happen, but we're going to fix that. So no big deal. Hey, it's just crafting. Okay. <laughs> all right. So I take some hot glue. I'm going to go all over these words, just all down the back of it. And I should have used my smaller um, hot glue gun for this, but I didn't think about it until after I'd already done it. And yes, I dropped it, but whatever. Pick that baby up and keep on trucking. Okay. Now, got it glued down. Hold it in place for a little bit. Make sure that it's really good and glued. This turns out so cute. Oh, my goodness. Any of the extra excess um, glue or whatever, you know, I just kind of peeled it off. And then where I did have spots that didn't want to stay down, I added a little extra hot glue just to those, those particular spots. And like I said, I should have used my little tiny heat gun or hot glue gun, but whatever. I didn't think about it until after the fact. Now, I knew this needed something. So, I've been wanting to use these bells anyways because I think they're just gorgeous. Hello. Like, the Dollar Store and the Dollar Tree both have got some super cute ornaments this year. So, I just grabbed these bells. I thought they would go perfect with this because obviously it says jingle all the way. I just folded those over the top of it. I'm going to hot glue those down and as you can see now I have my little mini gun out <laughs> only because I ran out of big hot glue sticks but took a little duct tape placed it right over the edge of those that just that extra security and I feel like that duct tape the sticky from the duct tape and the hot glue being so hot they kind of fuse together or something and it, it really does stay stuck so I just added those uh bells right there to the top Made sure that everything was in there good. Now, I'm going to take these little arrangements. And I actually bought these. They were a dollar piece at the Dollar General store. And I bought them strictly for the greenery on it. To do exactly what I'm doing right now. Just to pick the, the greenery off and be able to use it, you know, in DIYs. So, if you ever find stuff like that, think, you know, be thinking like, oh, hey, I can take that apart and put it somewhere else, you know. So, for a dollar, you can't beat that. Now, I just hot glued these in kind of, I did one on each side, one or two on each side, and then I go back and put a little in the middle, and I just wanted to make sure there was greenery, you know, around my bells, and a little bit different color green than what was just on there, so I, I like that it's got that, that lighter color green, and these were also flocked, so that, that I absolutely love, but I just added a little hot glue, and then I'm just going to go back and stick these things down wherever I can get them to fit, pretty much, is how I did it. There was no um, accurate way of <laughs> putting the greenery on. Just add it in. Kind of keep it even on both sides. And then, like I said, I wanted something coming up out of the middle. This turns out so stinking cute. And I can't believe I had that tablecloth. It was perfect for this. Absolutely perfect for this. Made sure my greenery was all good and stuck. And this is done. Oh, wait. I do add a uh, hanger to it. I'm sorry. So, I take this hemp rope that I got from Amazon, and I, I like this rope. I'm just going to fold it in half, like fold it together. So that it kind of looks like it's coming up out of a hole since I covered the hole up. <laughs> but when we put the bells on there, then you can't tell that I have covered the hole up. So it's all good. I just added that little hanger. I'm going to add a little more duct tape. Make sure this dude does not come apart. We want to make sure it is very well put together. And like I said, I probably will add some, some more paper to the back. But this is done. And I love it. Look at it. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, DIY number six. 
So I got this set of wall stickers from the Dollar General store for a dollar. Yep, dollar. All right. Now I got this little platter deal for a dollar ninety nine at the Goodwill, and it had some kind of cork on the back side of it. So I just actually like chip that off but anyway so i cleaned that up real good now i decided to paint this white because i wanted to be able to go back and distress it so i just gave it a good solid coat of um the of white chalk paint it's just homemade white chalk paint is all it is then i'm going to take my sandpaper and i took it outside and sanded it really really good now it distressed so well but i got a couple spots that i got a little little distress happy with <laughs> so i ended up going back with my chalk paint and filling in some spots so there's just a go to show you that even if you go a little too much with the sandpaper you can always go back and and fix it and so that's what i did now i'm taking those stickers and the first thing i'm going to stick on is the truck because it's kind of in the center of this um little like scene that this the stickers make so i just took the truck and tried to center it in the middle of that platter and really i should have probably like measured it and you know whatever but i didn't i just stuck that dude down and we're gonna make it work all right now taking out the christmas tree i'm just gonna add it down and y'all see that all i do is just add these stickers and i kind of go by what the package looks like you know kind of shows you um what it's supposed to look like on the wall and so that's where that's how i kind of went with it you know or how i knew where to place each uh sticker but i just placed these little stickers and this is so stinking cute i love this i mean absolutely love it added my little trees to the edges turns out so so stinking cute such a cute little rustic platter definitely farmhouse all right, so I'm taking my Mod Podge. I'm just going to add a generous amount of that and go right over the top of this. And that is not only to secure that sticker, but also to protect my paint, too. You know, it kind of gives you a little bit of a coating. So I just go all the way around my the platter real good with, with the Mod Podge. And that's all I did to this. I love it. Okay, so DIY number seven, if you even want to call this a DIY, I just wanted to show y'all how easy it is to take something like this from the Dollar General store and really pump it up. I mean, just, I wanted a farmhouse nativity scene. I wanted it to be super farmhouse. So I just took the pieces, laid them out on craft paper, spray painted them with that um, flat white in the Rust-Oleum two times cover one coat is all it took i just spray painted over the top of them then i'm going to take my bronze color in the arteza paints and just add a little pop of the bronze right to the star that's all i wanted i didn't want anything else painted i wanted it solid white and then just the star to have just a little bit of coverage color excuse me just something to make it pop i also took this out and distressed it and y'all it turns out so nice oh my goodness i'm i'm very proud of this i love it and to think it was only three dollars that's all it cost me to do this put it together that you don't need instructions you literally just snap it into place and you can tell kind of where you know each thing goes like you're gonna put the shepherd with the little sheep and the camel and then you know your wise men will all be together or however you want to do it actually however you want to put these little people in you go for it but this turns out so stinking nice. I love, love, love this. And it is definitely farmhouse.
y'all. So that is it for today. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. Also, if you would subscribe, that would be so awesome. <laughs> so thank you, thank you, thank you in advance. All right. Definitely hit that notification bell so that you will know each time I upload a new video. Y'all go check me out over on Facebook and Instagram and y'all have a blessed day.